In the meantime, the tri-state area was spared her means drenching rain and major flooding. Its winds, however, are generating dangerous waves that force New York City beaches to remain closed on this Labor Day. But a lot of people ignored those closures. CBS 2's Elise Finch has that story from Queens. The few people who spent this Labor Day on Rockaway Beach were eating, playing, or just enjoying the scenery. A lot of us who live here are used to being out on the beach in all sorts of weather, so a lot of us, this is just like a nice day to take a walk. Signs posted at entrances and a line of red flags let people know that swimming, bathing, and surfing were prohibited at all New York City beaches due to dangerous rip currents. I just think it's better to be safe than sorry at this day and age because some people go in and we have some instances where people can't make it out of the water. We also live in a world where people sue for anything. Anything. Somebody drowns and there's a lawsuit. You can't blame the city for not wanting to uh, allow that to happen and wanting to protect themselves. Lifeguards and Parks Department security guards were successful in keeping swimmers out of the water here at Beach 116th, but the paddle boarders and surfers, not so much. At Beach 91st, there were dozens more hanging 10 and raving about the waves. The condition is good, the winds blow in a, in a good way, and it's just great. This is like a perfect storm for the surf, and normally we don't get waves, this quality wave of a wave, and that's why we're out here. Police officers were present on the beach all weekend long, and surfers say they issued tickets. An NYPD spokesperson says surfing is not a violation of any law, even if beaches are closed. But officers can issue summonses if surfers violate other park rules, like disorderly conduct. Some people say it's just a ploy to keep people out of the water. In spite of the danger, some people say it's pointless to ticket surfers because it doesn't deter them from getting in the water. They know what they're doing. They wouldn't be out there if they didn't. And the ones who shouldn't be out there realize it in five minutes and come back in. We didn't see police officers issue any summonses during our time at the beach, but city beaches will be closed again on Tuesday. In Rockaway Beach, Elise Finch, CBS 2 News.